week two of the 12 week challenge. Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran, and this is my place to talk about weight loss, life, fitness, losing a total of 150 pounds. So happy to have you here. If you haven't already done so, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Yes, this week is weigh-in number two for my 12-week challenge, and I'm very happy to be here, and I'm very happy that you're here. This week was actually a bit of a challenge for me. The weight loss was not happening. I've been doing really good on my eating this week. I've been spot on with my calories. I've actually been really quite proud of myself. My weight hasn't actually shown my efforts. I went down on Tuesday and then on Wednesday I was right back up. So I'm just kind of hoping it all writes itself. We did have a very high sodium meal. So I'm thinking that actually had something to do with it, but it's all good. As I said, I was actually eating my proper calories. I was doing what I needed to do. I was doing my exercise. I was doing it all. And things were just not working on the scales. It was like a teeter-totter. It was like horrible. And I sat back and I told myself that, Mary Fran, you are not going to give in you're going to continue doing what you need to do because this is the plan that you're on. You're gonna see this 12 week plan through and we're gonna see what happens. So I kept on. I rode the exercise bike and I did have some problems with it because my one crank arm is actually loose. So I'm actually struggling to do the intervals because I don't wanna put a lot of pressure on it until I figure out what's wrong and get it fixed. But I am still spinning my 30 minutes a day and I'm getting my miles in there. And I am still doing my exercises. They're still difficult some days and I'm doing it. And every day we are actually walking outside for about 30 minutes in the evenings. So I am getting that also. So exercise, I'm doing good. Food, I was doing good. And my weight just wasn't moving. It was horrible. And I just kept pushing on. I just kept pushing forward. I was like, this is not going to win. This is not going to happen. And I kept trying to tell myself, you know, you're eating healthy. You are eating healthy foods. You're eating healthy. That's good for your body. You're exercising. That's good for your body. And I really had to focus on those aspects of my progress because I was making the proper steps. It just wasn't showing. And I was freaking out a little bit. So by Friday, or Saturday, the scales had started to show a little bit of a loss. And I'm like, this is good. This is really good. I'll take whatever loss I can get. I just want a loss. And I was worried though, because my weekends are always so horrible with food. So I had my plans for Friday night. Friday night is kitchen closed. We order delivery or takeout. And I had it planned. I knew what I was going to get. I had the calories set aside for it. Everything was awesome. And we had a coupon for a pizza and I was ready for it and everything was good. And I went to put the order in and I could not order just the pizza and the wings because that would keep my level below the $15 bare minimum for delivery. I'm like, really? And we had already decided that we were not going to get a dessert because we were going to have our dessert on Saturday but I needed to get us over that $15 limit, so I bought a dessert. And I was like, okay, I can do this. It's only gonna take my calories to 300 calories over into the zone where I maintain. And I was like, Ugh. and I cut myself a smaller piece of the dessert and I ate a smaller piece. And I was so proud of myself because I ate a smaller piece. And I was nervous because I'm like, what's gonna happen? The next day, the scale still showed me a little bit down, but that was the day that I typically get my sweet treat for the weekend, and I still did it. And on Sunday, the scales were down a little bit more, and I'm like, oh, oh my word. And on Sunday, I did cave. And that dessert that was left over from Friday night, I cut a little teeny tiny piece and I had some of it. 200 calories down the hatch. 
And I then was in a state of panic because I'm like, I just messed up my self. Just messed it up. Plain and simple, I messed it up. I did not let it default me into a, well, let me just eat everything. That night I ate what I planned. I ate pretty healthy. I ate within my calories. The dessert did put me up about 200 calories, but I was fine. And I said, you know, this is okay. So as I was getting ready for bed, I am in a state of panic because I've got my official weigh in the next morning. And I'm like, I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. It's just not gonna happen. And I was in the bathroom and I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you know what, Mary Fran, stop that attitude. You may not lose and that's okay. But look at all the vegetables and fruit you ate this week instead of chips and cookies and whatever. Look at all the exercise you did this week. You're doing good stuff for your body. Let it go. Know that you are doing what is right and the scales will eventually catch up. Tomorrow might be an anomaly where you go up a little bit. It'll go right back down. It will happen if you stay the course. And I'm sorry, those few little desserts aren't enough to really throw me off kilter. And I knew it. I just didn't want my way in to be off kilter. So I went to bed. I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to just roll with it. I know that I'm doing what is right for my body. I know that I am eating in a calorie zone that is correct for my body. And I went to sleep. So I stepped on the scales. And when I stepped on them, I, I for some reason stepped on them a little bit off kilter. But I was like, yeah, whatever. I looked down at the scales and I was like, really? Really? Oh my word. And I was like, you know what? I'm standing on the scales off kilter. Let me step back on the scales a little bit differently, the correct way, dead center, where I always stand and check it again. I stepped on and it showed me down three pounds. I liked the first weight better because I was down four pounds than the first time, but I know that that was probably not true. So I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna step on them a third time and see whatever one it takes. And I'll take that weight. If it's a different one, I can average them together or whatever, but most likely it's gonna be one of those two. So I stepped on the third time, and once again, it showed me down three pounds. I lost three pounds. Now, yes, I know I saw a lower weight, and I'm okay with that because you know what? If that was a true weight, then it'll just go on to this next week and I'll just be a pound ahead. So I am doing it. My weight is going fantastic. This 12 week challenge is awesome for me. It's working. I'm motivated. I'm committed. I'm doing it. So this week, more of the same. I'm going to continue doing my exercises. I'm going to continue the 30 minutes on the exercise bike, and I'm going to continue the 30 minutes after work of a walk or something active. I am not able to do the intervals on the bike right now because of that crank arm that's acting crazy and that's okay, I'm still getting my exercise in. Got this. There are no excuses. Find your plan, do it, stick to it, and if it is a plan that's based in good health, your body will respond. No excuses. Welcome to No Excuses, here I am. My name is Mary Fran. I went down, and on Wednesday, I'm so by Friday and Saturday, the still, so by, I just didn't want my way off. And I am happy to, this 12 week challenge is awesome.